Lana, how are you? Hi, Jane. How you doing? I'm really good. The last time that I saw you was at the Amoeba Inn store in San Francisco, so it's nice to touch base again. I know. That's exactly what I was just thinking of. I was thinking of that San Francisco show. That actually blew me away. It, I think it blew everyone away. There were so many people that they actually had to shut the doors eventually. I've never seen that many people in Amoeba. And when I left, there was still a line around the block of people hoping to see you just walk out the door. Yes, there were so many people there. I mean, that was just one of the those times when you get to a place you haven't been to and you had no idea that, you know, like when people are singing along to every song, it's just, you had no idea that some of that music that I wrote in, you know, New York traveled all the way to San Francisco. It was amazing. It certainly did. In fact, San Francisco is one of your biggest markets and that was clearly shown when Young and Beautiful yeah, got debuted. Oh, really? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Young and Beautiful is huge in San Francisco. It's still one of our most downloaded songs, and we're playing it here at the station. I am completely obsessed with it, Lana. Wow, I had no idea. You know, I'm I'm in Brussels right now. I'm in the middle of this, this town square, and I've kind of been on a really long European tour. So, you know, I've been saying to my friends, I had no idea people were playing it over in the States. So that's amazing. Okay, wait. You're sitting in a town square in Brussels right now. What are you sitting on the edge of a fountain? Tell me where you are. Well, uh, there is a fountain, but I'm sitting. <laughs> I'm sitting away from it. Uh, I'm with my boyfriend and my tour director outside of an Italian restaurant, and. Um, yeah, all of the little restaurants are kind of centered around this old building in the town square. So I'm just outside talking to you. So and you're, it's loud. And you're, I'm sorry. Uh, no, it's okay. that I'm stunned because it's not loud at all. That's why I, I I can't hear any of it. But so are your boy? Is your boyfriend your tour director, or are they two different people? No, they're different people. My boyfriend's band is supporting us on on this tour, Cassie, and um, yeah, and my tour director is just here too. And so, do they think that I'm impossibly rude for keeping you from them while they're sitting there? No, they think it's funny. They <laughs> I think it's funny. I was like, I've got to talk to my friends in the United States, so I'll see you in a little bit. <laughs> that's great timing. Well, like I said, I am I'm completely obsessed, and, and that's why I appreciate you taking your time calling from Brussels. When when you were approached about the Great Gatsby Project, did you think it was just an absolutely perfect fit for yourself? Uh, I have to say, I I did. I mean, you know, I have this really good partner, Dan Heath, who I kind of help write some some cues and scores for like commercials and things like that. But when but when Baz asked me about The Great Gatsby, I really wanted to do it. I, it couldn't be more of a perfect fit for it. Like I said, it's an amazing song on its own, and then you put it in the context of The Great Gatsby, and it gets even better. I saw the film, I mean, I saw it for the first time three months ago, and what I didn't know was um, Baz Luhrmann, the director, he changes his edit every night. <laughs> and so by the time I saw it for the second time at the Cannes Film Festival, it was really different and I loved where he decided to kind of put it in for all of Daisy's memory cues and I I love it. I'm I'm honored. Yeah. That's a great sentence. When I saw it for the second time at the Cannes Film Festival, you live quite a charmed life, Lana Del Rey. <laughs> <laughs> I know it's that. I think it might sound more glamorous than the reality, but um, yeah. But it was special, anyways. Yeah, it sounds like it. Well, I just really wanted to hear your voice again. It's just really lovely to get a chance to catch up. I know we have to go, but like I said, we love the song. Congratulations on another huge success, and we're just amazingly. Yeah, thank you so much. You're so welcome. We're just really proud to be part of your story in the Bay Area. That means so much to me, and I really can't wait until I get back there. So hope I see you soon. Absolutely, we will. And please tell your boyfriend and tour director, thank you for letting us steal you away from lunch in Brussels. <laughs> I will.